All right, guys, it is time for part two of the Atlas Apollo video. If you missed part one, be sure to check that out. Let's go ahead and get after it. All right, three mags left before I got to reload. So we're going to hit some plate racks and just see how a consistent we can be with the first two mags and the last mag we're going to use to see how fast we can burn a plate rack down. Stand by. That's a 284. Two eighty one. Two sixty eight. All right, going on to our second mag. Let's see if we can get a consistent two fifty three times in a row. Stand by. Two sixty five. So I need to pick it up just a little bit. Up, oh, through one. Try again. Stand by. Ah! I think we got enough for one more before we switch mags here to the burn it down mag. All right. That one was a 279, but obviously I dropped one. So let's push it, see how fast we can sling it. <laughs> Those last four plates I literally shot right between, or just off the right edge on each one of them. Let's see if we can push that down. Stand by. Made it up, 273 with the makeup, 235 for six. And yes, I know my plate rack bounces back up. And yes, I gotta figure out how to get the cables hooked up so that I can actually pull it. In the meantime, I'm just gonna keep on running up and down uphill on this range, stand by. Ah, I lost my vision on that one a little bit. All right, we're gonna do some comparisons in just a minute, but first I'm gonna run you through some of the drills that I like to do for competition. Now, obviously we talked about how this pistol is not necessarily a competition pistol because it doesn't fit any one slot as far as a division goes. This is a limited optics open gun um, because we have the ports, but it's also not the full open gun. Anyway, I'm gonna run you through some of the drills that I like to do. This is kind of how I will set up a practice session. I have some poles out as visual barriers. Um, these are a lot easier to move around than full walls or barrels. Um, I have some fault lines that I can just throw on one side or the other, the poles, and then I just throw some targets up. And the cool thing about this is it, it helps me with my mental agility. I can run this kind of as a stage um, to, to still make sure I'm getting my hits, but also changing up what I'm experiencing every single time I run a drill. Guys who run nothing but one drill over and over again, or you know, you maybe have a handful of drills that you're running, you're losing out on mental agility in this sense because this first run, I may set this up, we'll just start right here. Um, I'm gonna run to this position. I will shoot the two paper, the steel, and then we'll come back to this position. We'll pick up a long shot on the paper and then a steel back there. So we got about 45 yard steel shot. Then, oh, there's a bald eagle flying. Can you catch that? America. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so we'll do uh, these these two paper and a steel, another paper and a steel. On the way up, we'll pick up two more paper, and then from the third position, we'll pick up a paper and the steel in the back. So let's just go ahead and run this. So we got two paper steel, run back here, paper steel, two paper on the move, and then paper steel from the other side of that. Let's see what we can make happen here. Stand by. All right, so a little sloppy on my hit right here. I got a Delta and we got a no shoot there. So not the greatest run, um, but the cool thing is I'm not gonna sit here and run this over and over again until I get it perfect. I'm gonna work on the fundamentals that I need to work on, but we're gonna change up the experience. So by changing up the experience, we're gonna this time go straight forward. In fact, we can change our start position. You don't need this even. We're just gonna start here, but I'm gonna step back 
uh, into the box, make this my fault line. We'll come around, we'll pick up uh, paper, steel, this one on, on, on the exit. We'll come to this position here, pick up three papers here, including those two with the no shoot around it. Come back to here, pick up steel, steel, paper, paper. We got a couple long paper shots there. And then we'll come back up to here and finish on paper and steel, okay? This is what I mean by mental agility. This is how you play with stages without having to change a stage, build a stage. It's literally three little positions. Stand by. All right, uh, had much, much cleaner hits that time, really focusing on seeing what I need to see to get those um, alphas, which I think we got all, got a Charlie here, alphas. I'm not gonna walk back there. We got you know, 35, 40 yard paper there. But that's just a quick little glimpse into how I would run if I'm getting ready for a match. I'm gonna set up little stages, mini stages like this that I'm changing the experience each time, but still working on the, the skill sets that we need to use for a match. Got some long, long steel here. got in my way. All right, we are now at about 900 rounds down range through the Apollo. I think I got six mags left. So we're gonna go ahead and do some comparisons. We're gonna put some rounds to the Erebus, we're gonna put some rounds to the Eos, and we're gonna put some rounds to the Athena head to head with the Apollo and see just kind of the performance difference and see maybe it'll help you with the decision. If you wanna go for a smaller gun, a bigger gun, uh, Athena versus Apollo. It's gonna answer some of those questions, I hope. That's what the goal is. So let's go ahead, run these last six mags and get some comparisons. So let's real quick go over the big differences between the Atlas Apollo and the Atlas Erebus. First of all, the Apollo is a 4.6 inch gun that is ported while the Erebus is a 4.6 with a comp on the end. So you have a little bit of extra weight in here. You have a one big port comp at the end and this is really designed as a race gun, whereas this one is kind of designed as an amazing range plinker. But is there actually a big performance difference? Let's go ahead and test it out. The first thing we're going to do is run a build drill with both and see if there's any time difference that's outside of my draw stroke or anything like that. Um, I don't think there will be. I don't think there'll be much of a time difference. I think the biggest difference that we're going to see is whether or not we have a performance feeling difference. Like, how quickly is the dot back on target? Stand by. All right, we've got a 198 build drill with a 117 first shot. We had a little trigger freeze in there. 17, 17, 14, 19 split, 14 split. So let's go ahead and run this again with the Apollo. 191 with a slightly faster draw. Uh, 111 draw stroke, we had a 15, 17, 16, 16, 16 split. Pretty consistent. I had one shot that went a little bit high on that one. Everything else is in the alpha on both of those. So performance wise, damn near the exact same. I think my draw was about 0.7 faster, 0.6 faster with the Apollo. Um, the feeling is slightly different. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do a doubles drill and we're going to put a uh, target out here at 20 yards. We're going to do doubles on it and see this in slow motion, and maybe you guys can determine a difference. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit different, but I wanna actually feel through doubles and actually see it on the slow-mo. All right, honest opinion, Apollo versus Erebus. I'm a little bit torn here. I was expecting the Erebus to just kind of blow the Apollo out of the water um, because it's a little bit more weight out the front, um, bigger comp, 
and we just have a 4.6 inch porta barrel here. I am pleasantly surprised. Uh, the, the Erebus, well, I don't see much of a performance difference between the two uh, doubles, about the same. This one feels really good in, in the shooting process, like the recoil impulse, the way that it comes back to target. Um, I actually saw what, what seemed like just a little bit less bounce after the shot. So I'm personally gonna be putting a lot more rounds through both of these to kind of compare them. And I'm not gonna say 100%, but there is a chance I'll be running the Apollo at matches from here on out. Um, I love the Airbus, it's long time been one of my favorite guns. It's been my favorite pistol to shoot. Um, but I gotta say, this next to this, doing the heads up test was surprisingly effective. So you guys drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, in the doubles where we super slow mode it, did you see a difference? Did you see any discernible, like this one's definitely better than the other one? Did you see any bounce? Um, I'm curious. All right, so between the EOS and the Apollo, we're gonna run this little three target drill. I've got a target at 15, a target at seven, and a target at 18. And I wanted to see kind of how it feels doing target transitions while running six rounds instead of just doing a build drill. So let's go ahead and run this from the holster and see how that looks. Stand by. Okay, that gun really just shoots amazing. It says 286. Um, I think I threw a Charlie here and a Charlie back there, maybe. Yep, Charlie back there. So let's go ahead and run it one more time. We'll run it the opposite direction. Stand by. Woo! I absolutely love the way that shoots. 269. Um, dropped a delta on this last target. I kind of overswung into it. But let's go ahead and run the Apollo now. Got to clear it out and do the same drill here. Stand by. That is a tough call between those two. This one just shoots so soft. Ah, I don't know. Let's go ahead and throw this on some slow-mo and see if we can visually see a difference between the two. One more round in here. Take it. All right, EOS versus the Apollo. These are the two brand new flagship models from Atlas. And I gotta tell you, putting them head to head was kind of surprising. Uh, the EOS performs differently than any other pistol I've shot. Um, it's very similar to the Ares in the fact that it's got a compressed spring. We have the ports up top. Uh, it's a smaller pistol. And just the, the way that it recoils is different. It's just different. And I love the way that it feels. It, it's just unique and I, I like I said I just can't say enough about it I know I'm going on I'm trying to gush I'm not trying to gush it just is it's an amazing pistol the Apollo also is phenomenal but I'm thinking if I were to buy one pistol right now the EOS would take it if I wanted to get one Atlas that I could go sh have a blast with at the range that I could even run this in competition because we have that steel frame we do have ports on so it's going to put you in open division or if I wanted to carry this and I didn't care about an extra couple ounces I think it's six ounces difference between the steel frame EOS and the aluminum frame Aries I would go with the EOS um, this could, is going to be great for a paddle holster a coat concealed you could run this uh, from appendix it's a little bit heavier a little bit bigger I like having a smaller plastic gun for my frame, but if you guys run a full size, man, I'll tell you what, this is a great option for you. As far as shootability goes, both of them, like I said, are awesome. You guys can see the vid from the videos just how effective they are coming back to perfect zero. And I think just for novelty purposes, the EOS is gonna take the win on this one.
All right, guys, you know I love my Atlas Athena. I've been running this in limited optics quite a bit, but let's go ahead and take a look at the new Atlas Apollo and see how they stack up. The Athena and the Apollo are both 4.6 inch guns, but the Apollo is ported. So if you're gonna run limited optics, obviously we wanna go with this, but if you just want a fun blaster on the range, this may be the ticket. Let's go ahead and do a comparison. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is run a little build drill uh, to compare the uh, Athena to the Apollo, just to see what, if any, how much difference the ports are gonna make from that 4.6 inch barrel. Let's go ahead and give this thing a try, stand by. All right, that feels like my thing, that's 203. Um, I have a Charlie that's kind of high into the right, pull that one over a little bit. Let's go ahead and just immediately swap over to the Apollo. That way you guys can see right away what the difference is. All right, stand by. I was a 206, so the, the time is actually pretty much the you know, zero or 0 0.03 difference, um, but my draw was about a tenth of a second slower. However, all of those were alphas, and I can tell you without even a question, this one shoots better. Let's go ahead and run that one more time. Yep. That shoots awesome. That's a uh, 193 that time. And we'll throw another one through this just for laughs. Stand by. Little trigger freeze on that. 197 faster draw, um, but we had a 0.26 split in there. A lot more muzzle flip on this over the Apollo. But let's go ahead and throw it into some super slow-mo and run some doubles at 20 yards and see what that looks like. So let's boil down the battle of the 4.6s. The Athena, love this gun. I've shot quite a few matches with this in both limited optics and in practical division in uh, PCSL. Uh, I know this would be good for modified division as well in three gun. And it's a great gun. That being said, there is absolutely a performance difference when you throw a couple of ports in the slide, port that barrel, uh, because just from that slow-mo, you guys can see how much quicker this thing comes back to zero. This one does have a little bit of muzzle flip, and I actually like that over the Artemis. I, I talked about this before, um, the Athena versus the Artemis. I like the Athena just because the way it comes back, it, it flips up a little bit higher, but it does have a, a diff, a, just a different feel to the recoil impulse. So if you're shooting competitions, the Athena is the choice because you're gonna fit into those division rules. But if you just want shootability and a fun gun to bring to the range, or even a safe queen, no, nah, this isn't a safe queen. This is a dirty gun. Uh, pick up an Apollo because I really do think that this one shoots just like a freaking dream. Well, that's it. That is just over a thousand rounds through the Apollo today. Um, I know we did some comparisons. We did the walk back drill. We chopped the freaking fence post in half. And this thing ran like an absolute champ all day. You can see just by putting a little Radco on there this morning. And now after a thousand rounds, it's gotten a little, a little dirty as expected, but she's still running. Um, is this a full, Review of the gun, no. This is a fun <laughs> fun range day, shooting a bunch of different drills, and I hope that at least gave you a picture of what this gun's all about. Now, through the review process, I think I saw kind of the comparison between the different guns, how it performs, the doubles. This gun is a freaking shooter. This is a just a joy to shoot. Um, some of the, the interesting points of this too are the refinements of these. A lot of people ask, why is it $6,000 plus? Uh, and that's just because the amount of work that goes into this and hand fitting every single part, every part is numbered, every part's labeled, hand numbered and hand fit. So all of the edges here are beveled to perfection. You know, I've shot 1200 rounds and I don't have any hot spots on my hands where I'm getting blisters or anything like that, which if you ever shot just about any gun, 
for that many rounds, you're gonna feel it big time by the end of the day. Uh, my words are also failing me at this point. I'm getting a little tired, ready for some lunch, but this gun is a winner, okay? Uh, whether I run this in competition or not, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna do some more testing between the Erebus and this gun, but I think it really could be. And especially for the fact that it's about $1,000 cheaper than the Erebus, this is absolutely a contender for an open division gun and three gun. That being said, it's also just a great range gun like we talked about before, and I'm excited to put some more rounds through this in the future. So if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a line on social media, drop a comment down below, you can hit up Atlas directly. And if you have any desire to get more training, obviously you can come to me. Hit up dryfiremastery.com or farewellfirearms.com and I'll see you guys on the range.